Storms that blew through Grand Prairie shut down the Main Street Fest there and sent everybody running for cover. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga was there as well as police and organizers tried to send people to safety. Deanna. You know, Stephen Heather and, and, and that call to evacuate the festival here proved to be the right call. Things are quiet right now. Things are picked up, but initially after the storm, there was some damage out here. The winds, the high winds sent some of the setup flying and some of the debris flying as well. That after 6.30 here, before those warning sirens went off, organizers at the Main Street Fest here had already made an announcement telling people to go home or go inside the municipal courts building nearby. Some people, I'll tell you at first, hesitated, thinking, hey, it's, it's just rain, it's no big deal, including one lady we met who told me she was in line waiting for a funnel cake that she just paid for, wanted to get it before evacuating, but she says police were not having it. I'll just put it this way. The officer firmly told her to take cover. He came by and he said, Miss, I'm sorry I yelled at you. He said, but I was concerned about your life. You don't, you don't fault him for that, do you? No, I don't. I don't. I don't fault him at all. Yeah, police and organizers did a very good job here. As I said, it was the right thing to do. Just about four blocks away from here, there was another close call at a restaurant called Monterey's Little Mexico. The wind picked up one of those huge air conditioning units that's on the roof and sent it flying across the building, basically punching into the roof and ceiling, letting some water rush down on the people inside. Literally, it just went boom, boom, psh, and it, you couldn't even see out our windows and everything. So we just assumed it was the 70 mile hour winds and whatnot. When we had the light across the street over here, it, it got blown down. A guy was actually at the light. It turned his con truck completely around in a circle. So he pulled off and came in here for refuge. And then all this was happening. There were about 40 people inside this restaurant at the time. No one was hurt, though, in some places. One of the workers tell me that the, the water initially was nearly ankle deep inside that restaurant. The employees are there late tonight cleaning up. Some of the employees here and some of the volunteers at Main Street Festival were also here cleaning up. Things are in good shape now. They do expect to reopen first thing tomorrow morning when the weather, I do expect, will be better then.